Hello, I'm Ian, the vicar at St Matthew's. I'm sure you, like me, have had those moments where you've seen someone uh, famous or, or some sort of celebrity, but you've not known who it is, um, until a few moments later when the penny has dropped and you suddenly thought, ah, oh, that's so-and-so, that, that really famous movie star or, or celebrity or whatever it is, whoever they might be. Um, I had that happen to me in Bristol um, pre-pandemic. Um, uh, within a similar time frame, within a couple of months in the centre of Bristol, I saw two British, but they are sort of internationally known Hollywood stars. Um, and the penny dropped from me. I thought, ah, oh, that sounds like, I won't say who they were. Um, I think they were over here doing um, um, a, 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 a period a TV a series, a classic TV recording. Um, but I saw them, and for a moment I wasn't quite sure. And then I suddenly thought, is it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. Gosh, he's really mega famous. That moment where the penny dropped. Do you know, when you see someone like that, um, the penny drops about who they are, but that's really it, isn't it? I've been reading the Gospel of Mark recently because I've been doing some research and study uh, for our preaching series at St Matthew's this autumn, which is going to be on the first half of Mark. And the first half of Mark's Gospel is all about who Jesus is. The second half is about why Jesus came, and we'll be looking at that um, after Christmas in, in January and February. But before Christmas, we're going to be looking in this autumn period at the first part of Mark's Gospel. And there are some extraordinary moments like that for uh, disciples and others in the first part of Mark's Gospel when the penny drops for them about who this person is. And the difference is, of course, that it's not just some great celebrity or famous person. When a penny drops for people about who Jesus is, it's a transformative experience. It's not a transformative experience for me when I recognise a celebrity. It might be a bit of fun and think, wow, but actually it's not a transformative experience for my life. When the penny dropped for people, when they suddenly realised who Jesus was, that was transformative for their lives. I encourage you to read Mark's Gospel. It's the shortest of the Gospels. It goes straight in, no beating about the bush, the beginning of the Gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Wham, bam, off Mark goes. It's a great Gospel. But what was so exciting was reading those passages again about the penny dropping who Jesus was for me and what it meant for me. He is the Christ, the anointed one of God, the Son of God. He is God on earth. He is God revealed to us in and through Jesus Christ by the power of God's Holy Spirit. And if he is God, well then that makes a difference to me and why I should listen to him and think about him. This autumn we're going to be doing the Alpha Course again. And this booklet says, why am I here? One of the many big questions that we can ask in Alpha, and we ask that of ourselves in life. Why am I here? What's it all about? What's the purpose? What's the meaning? Where am I going? Particularly after a time like we've been in, I'm sure people have got huge questions. Well, let's ask those questions again in a safe environment and see if we can discover freshly, or maybe for the first time, who Jesus Christ is for us, for you. It'll make all the difference. It'll transform your lives. Thank you.